um, okay um, this is a video clip to show how to emulate this is called IPS on your computer uh, what you need is a GNS3 emulator and uh, this is called IPS image file uh, before we start copy the file to GNS folder and uh, open the command window as an administrator mode yes and uh, go to the GNS folder here to emulate IP, uh, Cisco IPS on your computer, uh, you need two files for emulation. So I so I may uh, so I'm gonna make uh, the image file for IPS. Q emulation image create Cisco one image. Uh, 512 megabytes size Q emulation image create IPS this 2 image 4000 megabytes or 4 gigab 4 gigabytes if you check the fol GNS folder uh, there are two new files I've just made After that, uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna install the IP the IPS image into the file I've just made. Q emulation hard disk A IPS disk one and hard disk B IPS disk two memory 1024 CD-ROM the file to install okay IPS image file enter um, this is a uh, first this is a first um, first screen you can see there are two op there are two options uh, um, this is first time so so I'm, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tie I'm gonna select the K which is recovery all day piss we need we need a couple of minutes to recover um, the I to recover and reinstall the IPS on the emulation file mm -hmm. takes several minutes Recover and installing IPS components.
okay after after the process is done uh, the emul the emulator is reboot um, and we can we will select the the, the first the, 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 the first one on the list with the e editor command okay with the e editor command so you type e on the first and we also uh, need to the edit the second kernel option so also type e and uh, we are gonna modify the kernel boot option uh, the component of initiation with one okay and uh, type b b to boot okay Uh, because I mod because I modified it, uh, the kernel option with the kernel option to um, one, so I can have an access to um, the con the console activation. Mm. I will type a load RC. Just ignoring the warning message. And we got the CD, etc. We need to initiate D. And we modify the function file for for just. When uh we we are uh I'm I'm I am I'm gonna I'm gonna modify the IDS functions with a VI editor and find a eight forty six eight forty five CPU address. Okay, this is uh, this is we are gonna use IDS of IDS forty two fifteen modify the if element one equal one and model number forty two thirty five low thirty two and default management to rest management Management to zero slash management zero slash zero and write and quit and go to this go to user CIDS IDS root etc. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna modify the interface configuration. Uh, we also for just um, okay. I also modify modify the interface configuration with a VI editor and uh, go to the. Forty fifty forty fifty Okay, forty fifty right here. Okay. The first interface the main the name template is
management zero slash zero port number zero and IP is path okay device ID vendor ID device ID 100e type gig ID net management management ca management capable net device only and TCP reset capable yes the second interface template is oh gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 port number 1 PCI path 4 80, 86 100 E Giga Ethernet Okay The third Zero slash zero Port number Two Ready pass Five Five dot Zero Sub interface no Device ID 100E type Giga Ethernet. Okay. Right, I don't think so. Zero. Seven point zero. E. Give it in. Okay. Write in. Quit. Done. This reboot. Mm, this enter. This is quite IPS. The IPS or the IPS or the configure automatically configure its its own configuration with the files we we have just modified it functions and interface configuration. Reboot. Again, okay, this is go. Cisco. If you change it, if you change the uh, default uh, password, you can have an access to IPS right here. Okay. 